Now we'll talk through some tips when your developers are actually coding your application. So these are in no particular order, just some common things that I see over time. Um, you know, you want to make sure that number one, that your application has adequate logging capabilities in there. So oftentimes, uh, you know, in looking to code this application as fast as possible, there will be some corners that might get cut. Um, that's why, you know, it's important, it's important to make sure that when you're interviewing your team, that, you know, you're asking questions like, you know, what standards do you have in place as you develop the software and listen for things like logging, like documentation, et cetera. But you know, logging, importantly, it's something where if it gets overlooked during the development stage, when it gets time for you to test the application and something doesn't work, if there isn't adequate logging put into the application, it's going to take a really long time to fix the issues. Going back and logging afterwards, um, you know, can take some additional time. So just make sure that um, that the time is put in during development for uh, for for logging, so that way you don't have to you know start extending your project timelines in order to add it in and find and, and fix issues. Next data purging. Um, so, you know, in the beginning, you're not going to have any data when you're building an application. It's going to be very minimal what's pulled into the system and, and so forth. Um, you know, but thinking in the future, um, you want a way to be able to purge old data. And by old data, it could be things like logs, for example, um, you know, an application running and what it's doing every, you know, millisecond doesn't matter you know, for, for today, it doesn't matter 10 years down into the, in the future, you're not going to care about, um, you know, a millisecond of logging 10 years earlier, right? So you want to make sure that um, you're not just adding uh, over time and, you know, without purging some of the outdated data, that's going to lead to higher uh, storage costs, for example, you're going to be paying for, uh, you know, for the logs from 10 years ago. So you want to make sure that, um, you know, you can, you can get rid of the old data and save, uh, save money on your uh, infrastructure. Automated testing. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm going to say this a hundred times, probably have said it and, and will say it, you know, a hundred times over the course of this, uh, this course that you don't want to wait till the end to start creating automated testing and you want to make sure that you have automated testing, um, you know, because you may, in order to you know, build your MVP, say, you know what, let's, let's not have any testing in there and that's fine, but just keep in mind that every single time that you layer on any kind of feature upgrades or enhancements into the system, you want to test everything, every aspect of the application every single time. So if it takes you five hours to test it and now you've added another, you know, you've doubled the feature set and now you've added another three hours of testing in there, well, you've got to go through a full eight hours of testing now. You know, if you then go and add another feature set that's going to take another three hours, then you've got to do 11 hours of testing. So it can easily get out of hand and take a lot of time to do it. So you just want to make sure that you're investing in uh, automated testing so that all that regression testing can be done you know in real time, it's not like, you know, you go you build a feature of an application. If it's tested two months later and doesn't work, you gotta you know, go back and remember everything that, um, you know, that, that could be a potential dependency. So, um, you know, it, it, make sure you invest in that and make sure that, um, you know, as you're going through the build that your developers are thinking about how the, how the application is gonna be tested. Now, you know, make sure that you have regular check-ins um, during build in order to demo the feature set that's happening. You do not want surprises. You don't want to get to the testing stage and then take a look at the application for the first time and realize that it's not what you asked for, it's not, um, you know, what, what you wanted. So, you know, make sure that 
you have time for iterations and you know you can only iterate if you're regularly seeing what this application is looking like and i don't mean regularly as in you know let me see this every single day um, you know it could be something like let's do a once a week uh, demo of what the application looks like let me get in and play around with it um, and see if there can be time that's scheduled for you to just kind of independently go into the application and start kicking the tires during build. Because the more you look and, and you see and you try to iron out any bugs while the application is being built, um, you know, the, the, the less time is going to be take, it's going to take to remediate issues when you get to the testing phase. So definitely time well spent. You don't want surprises. Um, you also want to make sure that your developers are unit testing uh, their work. So what I mean by that is, you know, they build a feature. There should be some documented proof that they did initial testing that that feature works and that it works as expected. Um, you know, the more testing that's being done as the application is being built, the less testing is going to be, uh, or, or the faster testing is going to go. Um, now, there are some things that, you know, you, you go and you unit test and you say, hey, this, you know, this calculation works as expected, and here's my proof of it. And then you look at the application as a whole, and maybe it doesn't interface properly with another calculation. You know, so those types of things happen, um, and it happens all the time. So, so you're not going to, you know, completely eliminate the need to test um, in there, but you just don't want to get to the testing stage letting other people into the system and you know, you're finding stupid mistakes that you know could have been easily found while the application was being built. Um, you know, make sure you don't overmanage the the team. So you know again keep in mind that um, you know the more time that the developers are spending um, you know giving you uh, task lists and feedback on you know, every line item on the project plan, all that kind of stuff, um, the less time that's actually spent um, you know, building. So you just want to make sure that you're finding that right balance between, you know, you need to get the updates, your project manager needs to get the updates, um, you know, as soon as they possibly can in order to update project plans, see if, you know, timelines are slipping, things like that. Um, you know, but in the process, you don't want to put too much overhead on the project where um, work's not getting done. And lastly, be available for feedback. Um, you know, I see this so much where, you know, on, you know, any kind of project, the the people that, you know, are ultimately going to own this solution after it's built are not available, uh, you know, during, uh, you know, during work hours of, you know, the developers and their questions that come up, um, their, you know, issues that happen where you need a decision being made. Uh, and, you know, if you're not available to answer those questions or make those decisions, your timeline is it's going to slip and you're going to end up, you know, having developers that hate it, paying to have them sit around and wait for you to become available to answer their questions. So whether that's, you know, scheduling a half hour or an hour a day, just that's dedicated time to, you know, answering any questions or, um, providing any feedback, you know, make sure that you do it because there are so many, you know, simple, whether it's a misunderstanding or something where you, know, you could just hop on a call or a uh, screen share and, and talk through it, you know, and that ends up delaying the project for, you know, for days or 